Tee. Tee. Ja. Oh, wow. I guess it's my only option here. This is vaguely reminiscent of control. I want to go there, actually. <laughs> That's interesting. Not an exit. Then what is? Oh dear. Hello? Uh. I see. I've really broken myself, haven't I? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And many years ago, I had a dream. Many people have dreams. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. I see. White space. I'm not sure I actually like <laughs> white space. It's very bright here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see through the fog. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. Now it's gray space. <laughs> oh, there's something on the other side. Looks like more white space. Oh, look, I've made it to the funny farm. Have I not yet, like, killed myself? Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Not an exit. I see. I think I'm going the right way. Well, this is kind of... Oh, I was there, I think. I'll have to cut out some of, uh, this episode. Like, uh, me figuring out the paradox. That took a while. Is that up? I think that's up. I can't get to that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, hit, hit. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Terrible, terrible because loneliness. A lifetime of oh. life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried. Yeah. I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. And I mean, just gotta, just gotta. Think about it a little bit, I guess. Oh. Ah. Can't go up those. I see. This is an interesting game. <laughs> Two doors. I guess I'll go through this one. And then through it again, I suppose. If it leads me back, I'll go the other way. Yep. Huh. Ugh, get a crick in my neck. Not sure 
exactly what to do. Hmm. Oh! I see. I don't, I don't see it all. This is freaking me out. <laughs> You're well beyond dreaming now. I and see that. Than anyone has ever come back from. It's but probably not a good thing then. You won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place giant water coolers of you could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? I guess. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh my. This is a thing that is happening. Can I go in between? Ah, no, no, I cannot. Alright. Let's see how it works. I'm surprised it lets me get away with not looking at it. There are some games where... Like, I've played games where if you're not looking at the thing, it doesn't exist. And just to be safe... Ooh. All right, there's an O. Can I, I can't, I mean, I can only clamber so much. Huh. That I don't think that's correct. I'm definitely not doing it right, but <laughs> I mean, I'll do it the way I can, <laughs> which is I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> uh, I thought this episode was gonna be over. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not grab anything else, please? I'm actually, like, stuck here. Okay. Oh! Let's see. I don't know what I'm going for here. I'm probably, I think I'm wrong. How do I get past this? Seriously, tell me what to do. I don't know. I can't figure it out just like this. Maybe I jump on it? I I don't know. I can't get up there is the problem. And there's no other way for me to go. Perspective my ass. If I had the perspective I'm looking for, I'd have a... 
I'd have a, another block or something. <laughs> so I could at least get up there. Ah, why is this white door here? I don't... I don't get it. Can I... Like, I can't... Travel through any part of it. I don't... I don't get it. Am I missing something? Like I have to be. Otherwise, this puzzle is actually impossible. Like, I couldn't possibly figure it out. Eh. 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 Okay, I fucking give up. I... I don't know. Okay, this is fucking bullshit. I I don't understand. I I can't figure it out with what I have. Obviously, is there is there a way to? I mean, can I jump up here onto this ledge again? No. What's the point of the ledge if I can't jump on it? Seriously lost here. I mean, I mean, what do I do here? There's Got to be some way. Uh. Oh my god. Fuck you, video game. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I tried so hard to figure it out. Like, and that's, that's what you do to me? That's just beyond rude here. I can't even get up there. I need to make it bigger. Ugh, cheese. Cheese and crackers! <laughs> there we go. That should be tall enough. All right. What's going to happen? Am I going to fall? Ugh. I see. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like this. <laughs> I should. I really should do a seizure warning every once in a while. Because <laughs> that would cause one. It's not always colorful lights.
something AM. Seven fifty nine AM. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> oh my. Am I awake? Final loading screen? <laughs> Seems pretty normal. There we go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized uh, that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Oh jeez. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. I see. I'm gonna fall soon. This is weird. Is we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so I, I don't like these problems. Again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I'm not sure I was looking for this kind of failure. I'm not sure I was looking for this at all. Just saying. This is really rather creepy. Like, I feel like if this was supposed to be therapy, it gave me mental trauma. <laughs> Your life will always be a struggle. Gonna turn it down just a bit. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. I see. Yeah. And you overcame them. There was only two that I thought were generally impossible. You understood them for what they really were. The apples. Because you kept moving forward. And that last thing. The path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. I feel like you need to have a talk with your AI robot voice thing. Because that thing disturbed me kind of the most. <laughs> no, you need more treatment. You will stay forever. Like, I thought I was breaking myself here. Yeah. But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. I see. All you've got to do is wait up. That was weird. That was freaky. This episode was an hour. I'm gonna have to cut that down. <laughs> It was a good game though. I paid I think I paid four bucks for it. I'm just gonna skip that. Okay. Levels. Induction, optical, cubism, blackout, clone, dollhouse, labyrinth, white space, retrospect. Oh boy. Well, that was super liminal. Um, I may or may not actually cut this episode up into two. Uh, so, <laughs> if there's a weird cut at some point before this episode, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was it was definitely an interesting game. I'm glad I played it. 
it went to a place that I didn't think it was going to go. Which I think is good. Like, games need to do that sometimes. And the, I feel like the trailer completely lied to me. It was like, oh, it's just going to be this fun little puzzle game that you're in, you know, your dreams. You can find, like, little escapes and stuff. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like the Stanley Parable and how that's weird and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it was a whole lot different. It was definitely something I didn't think was going to be as it was. Um, but uh, this is the end of this mini series I should say um, if you liked it please give it a like comment maybe a subscribe uh, however you feel have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next series